Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain about the data flow model of VHDL code. So as I said in the previous videos, there are three different styles of VHDL code available in the architecture model especially. The first one was behavioral model we have seen in the previous video and the second one is data flow model. So behavioral model, data flow model and third is structural model. Behavioral model focuses mainly on the implementation of the code based upon the root table based on the root table whereas data flow model is completely gives the code based on based on the logical expression of the output based on the logical boolean expression of the output in data flow in data flow model the code is written based on boolean expression based on boolean expression of the output of the output okay that means for example and gate is there okay and gate two input or three input and gate is there so for two input and gate the structure of the two input and gate is this one and a b are there and this is y okay suppose for the same and gate if you are asked to write the vhdl code in behavioral model then you have to take a b as inputs and y as output and 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the input available combinations with the two inputs and at 1 1 we are having one and remaining all are zeros this is the standard and get operation now we need to write in the behavioral model we need to write if a, a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 then y is equal to 0 else if a is equal to 0 b equal to 1 y equal to 0 so like that we need to write and else if we when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 then y is equal to 1 such that we need to write all the statements whichever existed in the truth table <clears throat> but whereas in the data flow model data flow model is very very easy to write the vhdl code just writing a single line is sufficient to write the to get the entire output equation so y is equal to we know the operation y is equal to a and b so y is equal to a dot b a into b so this dot operation and operation is represented by and operation performed by and operation performed by simply a n d a n d operator so a n d is an operator which performs and operation between two input variables so we can write y is equal to y is equal to is equal to in in vhdl assignment operator is going to be written like this less than equal to nothing but it it is less than equal to a and b a and b see here in the vhdl programming uh, still we are in the beginning okay i'm just explaining what are the different uh, styles of writing a vhdl code in the architecture part whereas entity part is common for any type of model whether it is a behavioral data flow or uh, structural the entity part is common entity port input ports output ports and entity but in the architecture the style of writing code is completely depending upon the user interest okay whether he can write in the data flow model or behavioral model or structural model or sometimes it may be depending upon the type of the question asked now y is equal to a into b this operation we must have and operator for this particular operation we must have and operator this and operator is a predefined operator in the vhdl code in a particular uh, package some packages are there in the vhdl and and this is also some assignment operator where this a and b operation is performed and the result will be stored in the y result will be stored in the y so this is assignment operator we call this operator less than equal to as assignment operator assignment operator okay so these operators and what are the different uh, uh, assignment operators we have what are the uh, 
uh, operators we have like a and b a or b such all these going to be uh, explained in the coming videos okay and now see here just a simple line is sufficient instead of writing if a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 like that or four different statements if l statements just a single line is sufficient to say this particular operation so depending upon the type of the input when we are running the VHDL code during simulation we give a is equal to 0 b equal to 0 then the corresponding output will come okay and similarly for example in the previous video when I was explaining about the behavioral model I took the example as pull adder let us consider the same example for all three different styles for better understanding for example pull adder consider pull adder pull adder so in full adder it has three inputs full adder has three inputs as a b c in and it has two outputs two outputs as sum and carry out sum and carry out so the standard logics of the full adder this is a b and c in and two outputs are there sum and carry c out now the truth table see in order to obtain the expression of sum and carry you should take the help of the truth table suppose if you know what is the expression of sum and carry directly you can take otherwise you have to follow this method like first you need to consider the truth table later take the k maps and then you will get the sum and carry if you know you can skip this part okay uh, a b c n and sum carry so three inputs are there 0 0 0 3 inputs 2 power 3 8 combinations will come 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay sum is nothing but 0 carry 0 here it is sum 1 sum 1 sum sum 0 carry 1 here it is 0 0 and again sum 1 carry 0 sum 0 carry 1 sum 0 carry 1 and both are ones okay this is the output s and c out now in order to determine the logical boolean expressions of sum and carry we must consider k map for yes k map for yes again i am saying if you know the expression output expression or even in the given question if directly expressions are given you no need to do all these things directly just writing the code is sufficient so sum a b c in 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 sorry 0 this is one this is zero and this is one see zero double one zero one double zero one zero double one zero one double zero one so if you map these there is no product term there is no Prime implicant that is mapped. Okay, so all these are individual values, individual prime implicants. So A B bar C in bar plus A bar B bar C in plus A B C in plus A bar B C in bar. Okay, if you simplify this, you will get one expression A X R B X R C in. If you want that also, you can do it uh, let us take the uh, common terms here a b bar is not there next b bar c bar let us take a common then it is b bar c in bar plus b c in plus a bar take a bar common b bar c in plus b c n bar okay then that is equal to a into this one we can write it as 
be xr c in whole bar because it is xnor operation plus a bar b xr c in so again a b bar plus a bar b you can write it as xr operation of a xr b xr c in so sum is obtained by taking the xr operation between three variables and similarly k map for carry c out so again consider three variable k map a b c in 0001110 and 01 so go to the truth table 3001 0311 3001 0 so if you map these two these two again these two so carry out is equal to c out is equal to so here a and in this <coughs> c in plus b c in plus a b okay this is carry out okay so for the implementation of carry for the implementation of carry we have three and gates and one or gate three input or gate and for sum we need only one xor gate three input xor gate okay now let us go to the code data flow model of full adder data flow model of the full adder see here first we need to write for any type of the model first we should write entity 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 name let us consider full adder is port of port of a comma b comma c in input std underscore logic this is the representation of input ports and outputs are c out out std underscore logic so port server and entity name full adder okay this entity and the previous behavioral model entity both are same both are same but the architecture is different coming to architecture architecture data flow let us give the name as data flow of whose entity a full adder is begin begin now we need to write concurrent statements what are those statements see here sum is expressed as a x r b x r c n so that is written as yes assignment operator a x r b x r c n very simple a x r b x r c n and c out assignment operator a and b keep in bracket r a and c in keep in brackets again r a x r a and r b sorry b and c in just semicolon semicolon says that is the end of that particular line okay so sum is assigned with a x r b x r c in and carry out is assigned with this particular operation c what is the operation a b x r a c r b c nothing but plus r is nothing but plus operation here okay so just a very simple two lines is sufficient instead of having multiple lines like your behavioral model <coughs> that's why data flow model is quite easy compared to your other two models like structural and as well as your Uh, behavioral model structural model is very lengthy that is difficult i will tell you okay so architecture begin and architecture name what is architecture name data flow architecture name so end data flow okay so this is the way how to write a program for any type of logical circuit in a data flow models just simply writing the expressions in terms of operator pre predefined predetermined operators predefined operators with output equations okay thank you